Hold on, I'm trying to get it here. I can't, I can't seem to get it to come out. What the hell is that? Just kidding. All right, all right, there we go. Well, there, there she is. All right, guys, well, I'm out here at Carster Huntington Beach. I just bought my brand new diesel here. I worked super hard for it, and I'm just happy that now I am the owner of it. Aren't you in high school? Well, yeah, but I, I worked hard, you know? I, I made a lot of money, so. Well, what what you do for a living? I, uh, I, I, I bought crypto, I bought crypto, yeah. Are you sure it's not your dad? No, 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 my dad did not buy this for me, I promise, I worked hard for it. All right, well, since your dad didn't buy it for you, tell me a little about your new truck. Yeah, come on, so I'll tell you all about it. So, I bought this myself again. So this is the Ram right here, and the reason why I bought the Ram is if anybody's in my way, I could just ram the shit off them off the road, like right there. That Chevy Volt, I hit one earlier. That one with the Civic, I hit a family of four yesterday, so it's no big deal. They didn't catch me because this big boy inline six got away from them. I got this as a special edition. I put my own name in it called the Cummins. That's what my PE teacher used to call me back in the day. So I ended up getting the six foot four inch version. I am not compensating for anything. Rather, I'm overcompensating because when I got your mom in the back seat, I don't want the suspension to buckle under pressure. So right here is where I put in uh, the cow piss, the diesel fluid, and right here is the diesel cap, also known as the liberal tears. So as you can see, this truck comes with 18 inch tires. Once I get good grades, I get 35s. I mean, uh, when I get uh, more money, I can get the 35 five inch tires like the off-road look but i only drive it on the street i just want to look cool well tanner what does laramie stand for oh the jeremy edition i had no idea what that stands for but the only thing that i care about on this truck is this mopar logo right here if you look right down here this means it's a sport truck that could beat any ford any hellcat or scat pack that comes this way because this is a fast ass truck so right here is the four by four this means i get like four bitches a day times the week so it's like 30 bitches a month. I don't know. I only passed third grade. Enough with the outside. Let me see the inside now. Taylor. Yeah, come on in. So come check it out here. So this is where all the magic happens. I just cleaned it up because uh, it gets dirty about here four days a week. But you see, it's a pretty big cabin here. I got my other hat here for when I go line dancing about once a week. So I got to show out for the ladies. So in here, I got just about everything I need. I got two cup holders down here for just about anything except Bud Light. So I did a little custom conversion in here. So don't tell the ATF. But I put in here a secret storage compartment for my 1911 just in case it ever gets a little busty down on the range. This car is really made for like the American James Bond. As you can see right here, it's got a little secret compartment in here. I cleaned it out, but normally I put all my uh, chewing tobacco in there so when all the boys are hanging out in my truck, they ain't gonna come up and fiend up all of my chewing tobacco that I had to buy. The biggest complaint people have with American trucks, they say the quality is absolutely shit. I think that is complete bullshit because as you can see, this has wood trim all inside of it and they had to chop down a couple trees just for me for it. So, you know it's got good quality, better than a Mercedes Benz. Uh, Tanner, isn't, isn't that fake wood? Uh, all right, let, let's, let's move over here. Tanner, didn't, did you just buy this hat too? Uh, no, I've had this hat. I've always been a uh, country boy, off-road. Like I said, I'm gonna take this truck off-road. It's an off-road truck. Like, it barely gets driven on the street. Tanner, you're like five foot eight. How, how you get in this car? Uh, I, I ain't five foot eight. I'm five foot 10 in real life, five foot 11 on Bumble. But I'm gonna get in this truck here, and since I wasn't no pussy, I didn't order any of the step ladders. So it's just real easy to get in here. It's like any other car. You can just sit down. You just kind of have to get up like that and it, it's it's really no big deal i bet you if you were 80 years old in a wheelchair you could get yourself in here every day so in this truck here it's got a bunch of different drive modes but because i'm a man i'm a he and i'm an american i only drive it in four wheel drive and low if you need to drive it any other way you need to sell the truck so up in the front here we got all these buttons this is the most important button here so this is called the tutor button so when she goes tooting and i switch this down she goes booting right through the damn door jeez tanner how many miles you got on this bad boy uh, let me count. I got one, two, six, nine, or eight. One, two, six, nine, or eight miles. What the hell does that mean? I, I don't know. I, I tried to do four by four. I couldn't do it. All right, Tanner, what is what is this thing here for? Uh, this, this is for, like, towing stuff out of the leg. Like, if you got, like, a boat or something goes off on the ramp, you know, so you can just, like, tie up a rope and pull it right out. Oh, uh, kind of like your mom? Hey, hey, come on out. Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go get some bitches. I don't know about you. Hey, you can't leave me here. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. I'll come back for you. Don't worry. Hey, hey, wait, wait. One minute, 37 seconds later. Freaking Tanner left me. Oh. You're back already? Yeah, man. That's why I'm quick. They call me Cummins. Well, there she is. 
Tanner, I, well, tell me a little about your motor. Uh, I can't see shit over this thing, so I don't really know. If it runs, it runs. I thought you were 5'11". Uh, on the internet. Sometimes you just have to lie. And I learned this once from a wise man. He said, don't tell them how you are. Tell them how you aren't. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. That's what he told me. That makes no sense. Oh, he was a wise man. So once I get to that level, maybe I'll understand it. All right, well, all jokes aside, guys, I was just a little skip we wanted to do. We're out here at Carcer Huntington Beach, and we are reviewing this Ram 2500 Heavy Duty Cummins diesel engine. So this truck is really special and unique because this is, as we said, the Jeremy, but it's, Laramie is a French word, and it's basically like the highest class. So this is the highest class truck you could buy. It has three seats in the back, and it has AC outlet, two USB ports, and a USB-C. It's got plenty of leg room back here, so you honestly could fit your whole family back in here. It has a huge truck bed, as you can see, so you can literally haul anything you need to in this truck. I read somewhere that this with the turbo diesel makes 400 horsepower and correct me if I'm wrong, I may put a little thing here once I get the actual correct information, but it said it makes a thousand torque. What? I was exaggerating a little bit in it, but like honestly, you kind of, you do have to use this grip here and then you got to get up to get in. I filmed a Raptor here before and that was a little tall, but I had a step ladder, but this truck has no step ladder right here. So it's uh, if you're short, it might be a little hard. You might need to buy a step ladder, but you can get them for like 20 bucks at Walmart. It has a nice screen touch uh, display. As you can see here, it has all these different modes. You have four wheel, high, low, and two wheel drive. When I put it in low, literally, I heard the tires screeching because of how much torque was going. Even when I was holding my foot on the brake, this truck was just pulling. This actually has a seat in the middle. If we were to fold this up right here, we have another seat right there in the middle. So you can fit up to uh, six people in this truck here. If you guys are looking for a truck, make sure you go hit up at Carstar Huntington Beach. They got the best cars all clean titles never any junk cars and you know you're getting a good deal when you come out here to car Star huntington beach to buy something just like this beautiful truck right here so even if you guys don't want a big truck like that car Star huntington beach has a lot of other cars as you see here they have a beautiful tesla they got mercedes-benz gmc acura Veloster Sport. they got just about everything you could want here at the dealership so if you want something come by check them out car Star huntington beach and tell them that tanner scott sent you and they'll take care of you i promise they'll give you the best deal Ever. All right, everyone, so now I'm gonna drive the 2021 Ram right here, and we're gonna go around the block. I'm gonna tell you what you think of it. This is my first time driving a diesel that's not a Mercedes Sprinter van. I'll tell you guys more about that story another time, but now it's time to drive this American Muscle Beast uh, down the road. So first impressions right off the bat, American Muscle manufacturers really are starting to get the interior better because American cars are normally not known for their interior quality at all. And you have on the driver's side mirrors, you have two types of mirrors. You have one for your main mirror, and then you have a wide angle mirror so when you're making wide turns you can see what you're doing because normally this truck is going to be for towing this car has a lot of torque now diesel engines have normally more torque than they do have horsepower which is a lot of fun when you want to get up somewhere especially when towing so we'll take a right here and we'll test out the torque a little bit and see how it Right there, you can feel the boost. I love hearing the blow off valve release on a turbo car. It's probably my favorite thing about this. And when you hear it spool up and then you hear Tsh. We're gonna test the suspension a little bit over here. We're gonna go over a train track right now and you guys will see how this car deals with uh, bumps in the road. And here we go. It's not bad. It was actually kind of almost better than the Raptor. There was a little less body roll. I kind of feel like I'm almost like in a semi truck, just a little bit of cheaper and I don't need a class A to drive this even though I feel like you should because of how tall and big this truck is. Um, one thing I did notice earlier when I said that that toggle switch that's down here was for uh, kicking girls out that tooth, this is actually, in a sense, what trucks use is called a jake brake. And essentially what a jake brake does is it slows the truck down by holding in the gases and releasing the amount that comes down so it slows the engine down. This truck has that ability to do that. So if you're coming down on a steep grade, you can flip this toggle switch down here and you don't have to use the brakes. It'll almost be like a jake brake. I can hear it making the sound like a jake brake. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but. That concludes the drive, you guys. Now I'm gonna give it a Tanner score and tell you what I think about it. So I'm gonna be basing this review off of five categories. And these categories are power, handling, features, comfort, and value. In the power category, the 2500 makes 370 horsepower and 850 
pound feet of torque. That is a lot of torque. Although it doesn't have the highest horsepower, it has a lot of torque. Overall for power, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. In the handling department, even though this truck took the bumps really well and I didn't feel too much when driving, because it's a 6 foot 4 inch version, I felt like I was literally going to flip the truck as you can see here in, when I'm driving. I keep a straight face, but like it has a lot of body roll when taking turns. And so for that reason, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 on handling. This truck is loaded with features, tons of stuff on the inside with 110 AC outlets, things for trailering assistant and exhaust brake. It is one of the most well-equipped feature trucks I have seen yet this far. And for that reason, I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10. Overall, this truck was really, really comfortable. I had a great time sitting down in it. My back wasn't hurting and I could spread my legs out as wide as I wanted to in this car. It was really cool. Now it doesn't have the same comfortability as something like a Mercedes-Benz S-Class or even a Rolls Royce, but it was still overall pretty comfortable. And for that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. And lastly is value. Now, what do you value this truck at? It really depends on your needs. I think if you're just going to drive this around to and from the grocery store, it's probably not your best value. If you're going to tow, if you're going to use it for work, you're going to haul something, I think this is a perfect gig for you. You want to take something with your kids and they'll be safe? Probably this too because it's high up. But for value, I would give this car a 7 out of 10. Bringing the total Tanner score to 33 out of 50. If you guys like this content, make sure you subscribe, comment, tell me what you thought about this, share it with some friends. And if you guys want any car, you're in Orange County, County, San Diego, LA, Inland Empire, anywhere, make sure you hit up at Carster Huntington Beach and tell them the Tanner Scott sent you and they'll take care of you guys. Anyways, you guys, see you on the next one and thank you so much for 10,000 subs. I'm going to do something special. I'll make a video about it and I'll post about it on my Instagram. Stay tuned.